sizlerden biri olan Audrey Hepburn, kamera arkasının programını konu olarak bugün stüdyomuzda. Welcome to our program, Miss Hepburn. Thank you for having um, me. My first question is a question that your admirers and fans all over the world ask. When is the one and only Miss Hepburn going to make another film? Well, the one and only Miss Hepburn doesn't know the answer. <laughs> no, that's very sweet that, that they still want to see me. Um, I would do another picture if somebody sends me a script I really like. And it doesn't have to be a big part, it could be a small part. But something that I would feel happy with, that would be fun to do, because I've become very lazy. That is to say, I'd, I'd, I would rather stay home. I've traveled all my life. In spite of the fact that now I am traveling again for UNICEF, for the United Nations Children's Fund. And, uh, but I would take the time to do a picture if it's something I really wanted to do and if it's something that fit me. I often get parts offered me that, uh, that uh, either too, too gruesome or, or violent or too young for me. You know, I'd, I'd feel silly trying to be younger than I am. Well, speaking of comebacks, I think a very underrated movie was Rob, Robin and Marion, which I ah, think was a wonderful film. I'm so glad to hear you say that because I have a very tender spot for that picture. I, I, I love the story. I, I thought it was so, so poetic, if you like. It was very poetic, I think. We, we, as children, grow up with our heroes, and then at the end it says that they live happily ever after, but we never really know what became of them. You know, our heroes too got older and got uh, lumbago or a tummy ache <laughs> or white hair or, or whatever, and their lives changed. And I thought this was a beautiful story of, of what became of Robin and what became of Marion. And I thought that Sean Connery... He was, was wonderful in it too. ...ideal. You haven't asked what I think. He's out there, Marion. He expects me. I think one madman's enough. Well, you worked with all the great directors of the 50s and 60s, and you started your star career with uh, William Wyler's yes. Roman Holiday. Was it difficult to work with Mr. Wyler? Not at all. He was, he was very good to me. I mean, he knew I was new and that I was obviously a little bit terrified of making my first picture, but he was very gentle with me, and we became great friends, and we were until he died. I always tell the story of that he was so kind that... Um, when we were finishing after six months and we were shooting the very last scene practically in the picture when Greg and I say goodbye in the car and I was not at all experienced I was, I was a totally unknown and very inexperienced uh, obviously it was a sad scene and I was supposed to cry and the tears wouldn't come and we'd been working all, all night and it was getting terribly late and we did the scene again and again and still the tears wouldn't come and all of a sudden, William Wyler got so furious, but so furious with me, and he really uh, let me have it, that I burst into tears and he shot the scene and we all went home. Uh, we know that Colette, the famous French writer Colette, saw you in Nous irons à Monte Carlo, a French film mm -hmm. that you were in, and she insisted that you should play Gigi on Broadway. Yes. How come this happened? I mean, I... Well, she did not see me in the picture, but part of the picture was shot in the south of France, in Monte Carlo, uh, and in the lobby, we, we were doing a scene in the lobby of the Hotel de Paris, where she used to stay every winter because she was already an invalid there. And uh, she used to go there every winter for her health. And she was there with her husband. And she just sort of stopped and watched from her wheelchair this, this, this crew, this company of, of movie-making people, including myself. And it was in a pause of, of, of work that day that uh, she was she was there, that, that I was asked to go over and say hello to her. And of course I was terribly thrilled to, to, to meet Colette. And she was then married to Maurice Goudiquet, who was a, a, an editor and a writer. And she asked me if I'd like to do Gigi on Broadway. And what a I, shock. <laughs> and I said, I'd, I'd love to, but I can't. And she said, why? I said, because I've never acted. I wouldn't know how, I wouldn't know where to begin. He said, I've always been a dancer. She said, well, that's why. You've been a dancer, so you know how to work very hard. And that's all you have to do to do a play, is work very hard, and I did, believe me. Well, how long did you play Gigi on Broadway? Uh, uh, we did it uh, six months, eight months on Broadway. And then you took it on tour. And eight months on the road, on tour, yes. And then you have given up uh, stage acting completely. Well, it, yes, it just happened, because then I continued on to pictures and then I had my my first son and all, I wanted to have more spare time to stay at home 
And in fact, eventually, when I uh, stopped being able to take my son with me uh, all over the world doing pictures, I, I stayed home with him and more or less stopped making pictures. Well, thank you so much for joining us on our program this evening, Ms. Hepburn. Thank you for your lovely And welcome. we all wish you to come back to Turkey again. I will. Huh. That is something I do know. Sevgili seyirciler, Ms. Hepburn'a huzurlarınızda tekrar teşekkür ediyoruz.